Well, it's no secret those on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic have had a taxing year. From the start of the pandemic, filled with uncertainty, to the spike in deaths last summer, and now to the challenge of getting people vaccinated. Gabby Easterwood today spoke with the CEO at Mobile Spring Hill Medical Center to reflect on a year under coronavirus. Spring Hill Medical Center has played an instrumental role throughout the entire pandemic, from the beginning with diagnosis to now with vaccinations. Well, it's certainly been a remarkable year, a very challenging year, a very stressful year. In those first few weeks of the pandemic, no one knew what to expect, but Spring Hill Medical Center took quick action, being the first hospital in the city to set up a COVID-19 treatment center, which protected their staff and non-COVID patients. So setting up a, a separate treatment area really proved to be a good idea. We would have been overwhelmed if we were set up inside, given just the absolute hundreds and hundreds of people who got tested in those first two or three months. Spring Hill also being one of the first to use plasma treatments to save the lives of COVID-19 patients. But even with this groundbreaking treatment, there was still tremendous loss. Those on our front lines seeing this day in and day out. Greatest takeaway is just the absolute amazement I have for the people on the front lines that gave way, 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 way more than their 40 hours a week. It was just impressive to see uh, people rise up and meet a demand that was really, quite frankly, an overwhelming demand. That taxing, emotional toll took a small break when the first vaccination was administered in December. Spring Hill giving their 20,000th shot today since that first dose. With that glimmer of hope a year into the pandemic, they know all too well it's too soon to call it quits. While it seems easier, we cannot let our guard down, so we have to maintain the same level of vigilance, even though the numbers are fewer, because the results can be just as deadly. Reporting in Mobile, Gabby Easterwood, WKRG News 5.